I recently went traveling with my family and it inspired me to make a travel hairstyles video. I wanted to show you guys what to wear to the airport and then maybe some things you can wear once you get to your destination. I also really tried to pack light this time and use really minimal products. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of that too cause spring break is coming up and you wanna have cute hair but you don't wanna bring like everything with you. So here we go. For styling products, I always bring something to smooth, which is usually my Moroccan oil treatment light because it's great for detangling, it adds shine, and it adds smoothness. Then I always bring something to texturize. This time I brought some sea salt spray to add a little bit more beachy texture to my hair. And finally, I brought dry shampoo for obvious reasons. And then that's all the styling products I bring. It's really easy and can definitely go through security. For tools, I packed light by bringing this T3 single pass compact flat iron and this works just as well as a full size flat iron but it's tiny and it also has this heat resistant cap so you can pop it on while the iron's hot and it can go right into your suitcase. Sticking with the compact tools, I also brought this T3 hair dryer which is compact but still very powerful. It also has a folding handle so it's very easy to just stick in your suitcase so you have more room for clothes. My final travel secret is the Straight Pin Studios Essential Kit. I love this. It has all the bobby pins and hair pins and elastics you could need and it's tiny. You could actually even fit it in your purse. And that's all I'm using to style my hair, which for me is awesome. So now onto the airport hair. I have second or third day hair almost all the time when I go to the airport because I run out of time, I pack at the last minute. So I like to throw in a little bit of dry shampoo and massage that in, that way I can get rid of any oiliness before I do my hair. Okay, so starting with my hair parted on the side, I'm picking up a section right next to my part and braiding under a couple times to get it started. Then I'm going to pick up hair from the top and braid it in, but on the underside, I'm just gonna braid normally. So then again, picking up more hair on top, I'm gonna braid it in, and then on the bottom, I'm gonna braid normally. And I'm gonna start working my way around so that the braid ends up close to the top of my head so that I can make a ponytail that's kind of high up. Now just take a break and massage the braid a little bit to go ahead and get it nice and big and statementy, and it will also help to kind of detract from any dirtiness that might be around your root area. People will be staring at your braids instead of your root. Anyway, then you can go ahead and braid the rest of the hair, and then once you get to the end of that, you can go ahead and pull that apart as well to get it as big as possible and finish off by securing the end with an elastic. Now sweep the rest of the hair up and into a high ponytail as high as you can, and then secure that with an elastic as well. Finally, wrap the rest of your braid around your ponytail and once you get to the end, tuck the ends underneath the braid so that they go with the rest of your ponytail. My hands are totally in the way for this, but just tuck the end all the way through so that it flows with your ponytail. Then you're going to grab a clear elastic and you're going to put that right around the base of your ponytail. That way it holds the end from the braid so you can secure that braided wrap without a bobby pin so that your hair does not set off the alarm at security because that has happened to me and it's a little embarrassing. So there you go. There is our totally airport appropriate hairstyle. Now let's move on to some beachy curls. So after I finally washed my hair, I dried it with the T3 compact dryer. And this thing dried my hair ridiculously fast, especially given how small it is. It also did a good job of preventing frizz because it has the same technology that all of T3's dryers do. Once my hair was dry, I was ready to curl it. I created the curls with my flat iron just by clamping it down and turning it a full 360 degrees and then sliding it down my hair and that creates a curl. So when you take it off, you'll see that your hair kind of looks curled and you wanna just coax it around so that it looks like a nice pretty ringlet. So again, I just flipped it all the way around and just slid it down my hair. You wanna go a little bit slowly so that you can make sure to get a nice curl on the hair. And then once you release it, just kind of twist it around and you can see the curl. I feel like these curls worked out really well. Even though this iron is tiny, it has really even heat distribution across the plates so that even with it being a little bit small, it worked really well to create these curls. So just keep going until all your hair is curled and then we're gonna add in a little bit of sea salt spray for texture. I felt like I'm at the beach, I want like the most textured, beachy looking curls I can get. So I sprayed my hair and tousled it with my fingers and then I went over any areas that looked a little bit too curly for me, just lightly with the flat iron and then that was it. That is my beachy curls with a travel size flat iron. I love that, I love that I didn't have to bring a whole curling iron just to get this. And finally, we have this braided half up do, which I decided to do on straight hair because you guys have been asking for that. I did run my flat iron over kind of my roots at the nape of my neck because they're a little wavy and right over my ear. So I did that really quick just to get everything nice and ready and nice and straight and shiny. And now we're ready to go. You can part your hair wherever you like. Mine is slightly to the side. And now you're going to pick up a small section of hair from the front and you're going to braid that all the way down and then secure that with an elastic at the end. 
We're going to be making two braids on each side of our head, so four in total. So this is number one, and then for number two, you're going to pick up a section of hair that's right underneath the section we just braided. You're going to braid all the way down that section as well, and once you reach the end, go ahead and secure it with an elastic. Now you just have to do the same thing on the other side. So take a section from the top front of your hair, braid it all the way down, and secure it with an elastic. Then do the same thing to the section just below it. And once you have all those braids done, it's time to bring it all together by taking one section in the very back of your head and starting to braid that. You're gonna braid about three or four inches and then you're gonna start braiding in the braids we just did. So many braids. So pick up one of your top sections and then put that with one of the pieces you're about to braid. Then you're going to go ahead and braid that in and then do the same thing on the other side. So pick up a top section, incorporate it with one of the sections you're braiding and braid it in. Do you think I could say braids one more time? Because I think I just said it like a bazillion times. Anyway, guess what? Now you're gonna do some more braiding. You're gonna braid three to four more inches so that you have some space in between the braids. And then you're gonna braid in the bottom sections. So after you've got that ready, go ahead and pick up one of the pieces of hair, incorporate that with your section and braid it in and do the same thing on the other side. And now all you have to do is braid the rest of the hair that you have normally until you reach kind of the bottom of your hair, or at least until you're tired of braiding, and then you can go ahead and secure it with an elastic. The final thing I did was to pull apart the braid a little bit, just the center braid, not to make it more voluminous, but just to make it look a little bit less perfect and a little bit more lived in. And that's it for this hairstyle. I love that it's just five braids put together, but it looks really, really cool. Also, if the compact tools that I used caught your eye, there's a link in the description box where you can enter to win your own set of compact travel tools, so click that and enter. And that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. It was a little bit more vloggy than usual, but I kind of liked it, and I hope you guys did too. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.